Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Shantae, Half Genie Hero, where we last left off. We have gathered the five remains and ended up the the guy getting us sick, which thankfully we are now cured of. And after getting ourselves cured, we have since then left it off there to perform some more wondrous duties for the world as the wonderful half-genie hero herself. So, I'm gonna go to the bathhouse to give myself just a little reminder of what I need to do. Yes, I would like a hint. A stranger inside the desert tower needs your help. Want another hint? A stranger inside the desert tower. Wait, didn't I just do the, the remains thing already? Do I have to see them again? Is that really what I gotta do? I, I guess so. Also, if you're wondering why my camera looks different, I'm using a ring light now. So, I'm hoping it'll make my, uh, my appearance on camera look more clear, because it looked like in editing and such that it looked slightly blurred. So I'm hoping this is making it much clearer for everyone to see my face a lot better. And also, don't uh, worry about this and uh, everything else. I'm going to be enjoying a very nice and wonderful shave later. Alright, so let's lift off and head to the Desert Tower then, because we got a stranger there that we need to talk to. I guess maybe we didn't fully give the guy the remains because he got us sick. So we have to go there again. Oh yeah, we also get to see like all the stuff we've collected to make sure if we missed anything, which so far... We're getting a majority of stuff. Alright, here we are again in the desert area. Now, I also wanted to... Oh, hold on, ow. I also wanted to answer something quickly about if anyone's having maybe some thoughts about what's going on with, uh... Uh, the giveaway plans. I still plan on wanting to get that all like done because I'm sure people still out there want to see me uh, do the giveaway. It's just a lot of things have been going on here and there that I needed to take care of and I didn't want anything to like not be taken care of and done whenever I get back into that. So, the giveaway will still someday happen. It's just right now we've been taking a little bit of a break to get back into um, everything else that me and my friends uh, have been missing out and doing, like enjoying some nice fun D&D &D adventures together and all that stuff. Um, other than that, yeah, there will be a time that I will get all that situated again. I just wanted to make sure everything was settled. And other than that, everything's been going okay. Like, I gotten my computer in a nice little comfortable area that I've wanted it to be in after a while of trying to fix everything after all the problems that I dealt with. Other than that, it's just been the uh, same thing. There we go. I'm gonna check out what's down here. I don't remember if I went down here. I may have. I think I have gone down here. Yeah, I think I might have gone down here already. Yes, I have. Okay, I am getting out of here. Okay, here we are arriving at the desert tower once again. And now to talk to this person. What's up? What do you need help with now? Ah, I'm feeling like a million bones after that sneeze. Is that really it? I guess there's someone else that needs help? I don't know, I guess I'll... I'll go to the top and see about it, I guess. I'm gonna take a shortcut and use the... Whoops, not that form. I'm gonna use the monkey form and shortcut it. Because monkey form goes through this place really fast. 
If I don't get constantly hit. Ooh. What'd I get? Hey, another heart holder. Okay. Okay, we have finally arrived. Wait, there's no one here! What? I went through the whole town and there's no one here! I may need to look up what the hell they're talking about, because that wasn't- that's not a very good hint. I went to the guy in the desert tower. Where else am I supposed to go? Hold on. A stranger inside the desert tower needs your help. Okay, everyone, give me a second. Okay, so I found out where the guy is. He's not- he's not in the desert, he's in Mermaid Falls. Haha, <laughs> trick ya! <laughs> later. Uh, and, uh, no, up, up, there we go. Hey, how's it going, man? Ah, oh my gosh, a wizard, right? Well, don't worry, I'm a good wizard. You got any candy? I'm a sucker for candy. In fact, I'd raise a town to the ground just to get my hands on some sugary sweet. <laughs> Ignore that. Inside voice. <laughs> but I could use some candy. Wait a tick. I thought you didn't have any candy. But now you do? I mean, I, this is my first time I'm meeting you, but sure, here, have some. You gave lollipop. Wow, I mean, wow! Candy out of nowhere. You, my friend, are a real wizard. Here, for you. Hey, we got the light shard! Awesome! That's a light shard made out of crystal. Wizards gotta have a crystal, right? Am I right? Answer me! Heh, <laughs> just kidding. We're good. You enjoy that. Okay, thank you for letting me enjoy that. Uh, I'm also going to figure out what I can do about getting to this portal here, because this might be something important. Hey, Uncle! Guess what? Let me know if you come across that light shard. You found a light shard. That's for me, right? You, you did get that for me, right? Nope. You gave the light shard. It attaches right next to the dark shard. Right up. Here. Wonderful. There's only one piece left, Uncle. Yep. We're almost at the end. Oh gosh, speaking of which, I need to split. Oh, speaking of which, I need to split. Eh, I read that horribly wrong. After all, gotta enjoy life while we still can. Roddy, why do you keep saying that? Huh? Oh, haven't you heard? About... The end of the world. The Hypno Baron is summoning a creature of unspeakable horror. I want to squeeze in as much fun as possible before the beast begins its world-ending rampage. Say what? Yeah, that would have been nice of you to tell us before! Actually, I could use a lift. I'm going to ask Featherhead for a ride to the Hypno Baron's castle. Maybe I can get a front row seat. Here's a map if you want to come. That was a rather twisted way of putting it, but okay. See ya! There's no way I can stand by and let the Hypno Baron summon some giant beast. How come every time we're running into, like, male enemies, they're all having Baron in their name? What's with everyone being a baron? Just one more time, Uncle. Then I promise to help you finish your machine. <sighs> so many distractions today. Just promise you'll be careful. I will, Uncle. Don't worry, we got this. Sky, let me guess. You want a ride to Hypno Baron's castle? How'd you know? That fair weather friend of yours just tried to bum a ride. Oh. 
she'll lead you straight into trouble. But I have to stop the Hypno Baron. Typical. Don't say I didn't warn you. Are you ready to lift off? Yes, we are. All right, we're off to stop the Hypno Baron from doing his horrible evilness. Seems to be in the middle of the jungle in a castle. Uh, probably a bad castle. Great. Okay, Hypno Baron's castle. Let's go. And there's green fire around it. Yes, shave. Oh, Roddy Tops, wait up. That lousy sky, no good bird brain, made me walk all the way here. And I just changed legs last week. Don't be mad. I'm sure you'll find, a uh, new, even better legs. Anyway, tell me about this monster the Hypno Baron is conjuring. Oh, the creature of unspeakable horror? I heard my brothers talking about it. I guess the Hypno Baron came to them for advice. He said he needed a creature evil enough to rip open the fabric of space and time and wash away humankind in a sea of eternal woe. Or something along those lines. My brothers told him how to summon the horror, and in exchange we got a whole sack of sequin land select dark almond roast. You guys doomed humanity for a bag of coffee? Well, it was before 9 a.m., so... Alright, I'm going to find a way into the Hypno Baron's summoning chamber and stop his plan before it happens. Coolio, I'll watch the fireworks from here. Oh, uh, I, I get it. You're a zombie. You don't have to worry about the whole dying thing because it's going to be affecting humans and not you. Oh, don't tell me Shantae's one of those people who are scared of haunted castles. Yep, she is. Alright, so here we are in the Hypno Baron's cat. So, ah, skeleton! I still don't know what the point of breaking these blocks are. Ow. Dick. Okay. Uh, that was a dick move on the game. Yes, let's blame the game. Ah. Haha. -ha. Hmm? Oh. Okay, different map transition. Whoa. What the hell? Who are you? Okay, you transform. And you have a lot of health. You take a lot of hits. Whoop, okay. I don't want to know what you do, so I'm just going to hit you from the safety of a place that you cannot reach. And, you know, let's actually go down, because, I mean, the option's there. Hey, that's a good thing I did. <gasps> ah! 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 Wait! Ah! 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 Bad ghost! Bad ghost! Bad ghost! Okay, so there's a... a Ghosts in the chest thing. Ow. Ah. I just don't do enough damage to kill the skeleton guys while moving, so I need to be careful. Okay, so the to oh, the lanterns are also there to kind of help me out with the. Oh no 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 no. Okay. So there's a lot of spooks and. Skeletons and slimes in this whole place. Ooh, another chest. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a bad again. I'll admit, I was wondering when we were gonna run into like a map that maybe has like scary, monstrous things. This thing, this whole game story is just completely interesting to me, and I'm enjoying it actually. Hey, who are you? This place needs a poster. Like an awesome poster. Abner? Eh? Oh, it's the brain on legs. You got something for me? Coffee? Brains? Coffee with brains in it? Oh, you must be one of Roddy's siblings. Not really. Then get lost. You're a butt. 
You're a butt. So, why do you want a poster? Me and Poe are gonna take over this old castle. But I'm concerned about. But I'm concerned about this wall right here. It's screaming for a poster. Some totally awesome black light poster. Okay, so he wants a poster. Well, I sadly do not have said poster. You know what? I'm also gonna use my monkey power and get myself climbed up here. And grab these jewels while I'm at it. Oh. Wrong transformation. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh screw you. Uh... I guess this calls for the bat form? Yeah, I guess that works. Didn't, didn't bring me anywhere, though. How about here? Here we go! Okay, now we reached uh, further. We got all these bats to take care of. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, great. Mm, there we go. Ah! Okay, so now I know what that thing does. It traps me and eats me. <laughs> that kind of spooked me. I I thought it was dead. And now we're outside. Uh, sun tells me this goes wherever it's looking. Yep. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Uh, yep. I am glad I have the bat transformation. Okay. This is a little bit discomforting. Being on time to disappearing. Okay, so I have to wait for her to lower her legs and then I can attack. Haha! -ha! Okay, we're dealing with quite a few new enemies. This is a little bit uncomfortable because I, I normally like to learn about enemies before I fight them. And in this, I can't even do that. Ah, uh, too many skeletons. And fire. Ow. Ha, <laughs> you didn't make it. Ow. Okay, that was funny until I got bit. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. All of them are falling platforms. Oh, okay. Okay, so I decided to... Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Well, first off, I apparently decided to do that crap. And I also decided I changed out my uh, Dryad dance for uh, the Tinkerbat dance. Because I want to actually see what it's like going with this. Oh, huh, they have a little hover. Okay. So why not? Let's go with this little form for a little bit. Okay, that form's not a good idea for this area because it can't duck. I thought a Tinker Bat could duck. Apparently, a Tinker Bat has a bad back. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was bad on my part. Duck. Okay, here we go. There. Now I'm good. Uh, also, I have this. Hey, gems. All right, here we go. Going further in. Got quite a lot of stuff, but then again, I was held up earlier, so. Hypno Baron! That's the Hypno Baron? Your chanting days are over, mister. Blah! It's you! No matter. My incantation is already complete. <gasps> Tremble in fear as you witness the. End of your world. No. Behold! 
the creature of unspeakable horror. What? Yo! What the hell is that? Huh? Squid, Baron. That's a squid? Looks more like it should be an octopus. Why isn't it called Octo Baron? Check it! I've reached fifth boss status! That's one step away from top billing. I'd be surprised if they didn't name a game after me. Shantae versus the important Squid Baron, they'd call it. No, Squid Baron's Quest, starring Shantae. In fact, just make it a Squid Baron game. I'll even let you get in as cheap DLC if you ask nicely. You could be a color palette swap. 99 cents sounds about right. You're out of your mind, Squid Baron. First of all, the titles always have a colon or an and the in the name. Second, a Squid Baron spin-off game would only appeal to a subset of the same audience. So it's going to sell like buns. How embarrassing. And third, swapping your color palette for yours would make you red and purple, which you already are. Ah, how dare you! Let's do this up all crazy style. Cue the funky boss track and come at me! Squid Baron, creature of unsp for unspeakable horror. Okay, uh, uh oh. Ah, uh, ow! Whoa. Whoa! 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 Ow! You dick! Ah! Ah! Uh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, okay, it lingers for a second. Oh, damn it! Oh, crap! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Ah! No! Damn it! Dodging this guy is a little annoying! Ah! 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 Woohoo! Ah! Okay, I need different magic. Uh, how about this? Ha! There we go! You just got beaten. Oh my god, his face. Is he gonna cry? That face he has while he was exploded looks like he was about to horribly cry. Oh. He's still alive. Dual barons? Oh, come on! That's not fair! Ah! Uh. All right, this works. Yeah, you triple damaged. Ah. Ah, stupid Hypno Baron floating on top of me. Stop floating on top of me, ow! Okay, I need, ah, uh, no, no, not that. I need healing. Uh, boom, aha. Oh no, I'm a mouse. I didn't mean to turn into. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, uh, okay, I'm making this work somehow. Uh, well, I turn into the Tinker Bat now. Oh God! Ah, dang it! Got him! Hey, there we go. Boom goes the both of you. 
Oh my gosh, I think I blew him up for good. I hope you're happy now, Hypno Baron. He might have been a big jerk face, but deep down he just wanted to be loved. Oh, he will be. You see, I summoned him here to option his merchandising rights. Say what? Squid Baron hats and mugs and t-shirts, crew necks and raglans. But whatever happened to ripping open the fabric of space, time, and washing away humankind in a sea of eternal woe? Who told you that? No, it's gracing the fabric of leisure time and blowing away humankind in the sea of heavy weave 100% cotton comfort. Oh. Squid Baron merch will fund evil for all eternity. <laughs> I'm going home to take a very long, very hot bath. Yeah, um, you do that. I'm rather confused why they did all this just for merchandising. Mm, Hypno Baron's House of Horrors. Ooh, daughter of the genies, welcome. Oh, another transformation. What do we get? What do we get? Harpy dance. Use the power to fly through the air. Huh. Okay. It can do a running start thing, but I don't get why it's drifting. Or maybe that's just the floor. I don't know. But it is kind of cool, though. We got now the ability to turn into a harpy and fly. That'll make traversing a lot of maps easy. Or hopefully. Congratulations! You've thwarted evil five times in a single day. That's got to be a new personal best. Being a genie that's only half hero sure isn't easy. I know what you meant, and thanks. But now... I finally owe it to Uncle to get that final component. So, what is it anyway, Uncle? According to this... Oh dear. Hmm. The blueprint shows a hand crank mechanism, but that's no good. Here's where your old Uncle gets his chance to shine. Groan? Oh, I think she was saying she was groaning. That's right. We're going to improvise! Why turn the wheel at all when we can rig up a hamster wheel to do the work for us? I don't know, that sounds like bad news for some hamster. Hey, I know. A regular hamster would get tired and need to rest, right? But a zombie hamster will happily run all day long. Brilliant! It's settled then. The zombie hamster will be our perpetual energy source. And I'll forge the hamster wheel out of iron to reduce the heat on his little monster toes. We're seriously going with this plan? <sighs> okay, Ronnie Tops, this sounds like this is your department. Where can I find a zombie hamster? You know. How about I just get a regular one and bite it? I think that's how... P.O. how Poe got his. If your brother already has a zombie hamster, why didn't you say so in the first place? Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, and what about the iron slab? For that, you'll need to ask around town. Got it. One zombie hamster and one iron slab coming right up. Okay, so before we end this off, actually, let's, let's ask about that slab thing. Let's see, those cute zombie brothers were spotted over by the castle. Yep, I already know that. Legend tells a relic which allowed harpies to fire shots through the air. Okay, so that's telling us about a uh, harpy power. A pink blob-like woman came looking for you. She's hanging out around here somewhere. Okay. I just saw the Azure Knight over at the item shop. 
Hold on, what about this blob? Oh. Oh, hey, honey melon. Just me, Grandma Blobfish, same as before. My grandkids are off watching the moving picture shows. Do you think my hat looks too old-fashioned? The grandkids said I need to find a new hat. I don't know, something more modern is called for, I suppose. Can you help me out again? Find me a hat that looks nice. I'll wait right here, same same's before. Okay. I don't know where to look for a hat. The adventurer was sucked into a sewer pipe beneath Main Street. I hear there's a secret at the top of the factory, but you need a way to hover up there. I don't know, mermaids could blast powerful bubbles by waving their tails. These days, only elderly sea creatures know the technique. Hmm. Oh. Okay, hi. I am the Azure Knight. You. Were you sent forth by the Crimson Knight to retrieve his regal headwear? I would not yield it to a knave such as Yon. How Evans... How Evans stance? I would be inclined to bequeath it to you. Shalt thy pre providest me with a fine vorpal blade, doused in the tears of a saddened newborn orangutan, thou might procure said blade by descending to the ocean depths. Oh, I already have that for you then. Yeah, yeah, I, I have it right here. There you go. You gave vorpal blade. You are both noble and brave, and so I bestow upon thou head thy regal headwear as promised. You got Foxy Grandma hat. Oh, this is for Grandma Blobfish. I'm starting to think this is a phony accent. Uh, sure, you know what? While we're completing this quick, might as well do that. You found me a new hat? Yep, there you go. Oh, dear. Is this what folks are wearing these days? Okay, if you think I should put it on, then here goes. Foxy Grandma. Oh, sweet mama, I look hotter than a fricasseed tube worm. Foxy Grandma, words to live by. This head is giving this old gal thoughts of springtime if you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> In fact, I think I feel romantic song coming on. Now, I hope this ain't too hot and steamy for general audiences. Here goes. Burf! Oh! Okay, she gave us the ability for the mermaid bubble thing. That mermaid bubble must have been stuck somewhere deep down inside along with my feelings. Well, you keep it. Okay, so... I guess that's settled, and we also have a secret to get at the factory. Which, you know what? I think we'll take care of getting that secret in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one. And then, after that, we'll go back to the castle and see about uh, talking with Poe to finding out where the, uh, the zombie hamster that they have is. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto my channel and to help support it. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. All of you, please have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye, everyone!